pizza is my favorite food to make and my favorite food to eat. This is the recipe that I use, and I'm going to show you how to use it in this video. I start by melting one stick of butter. I place it in a microwave safe container with a lid. Depending on the quality of your butter, it may explode in the microwave, so the lid is essential. Trust me, I've had to clean a lot of butter up. With my microwave, one minute on high will melt one stick of refrigerated butter. While the butter is melting, I start by adding the dry ingredients. I use bread flour, but have used all-purpose flour with the same results. This recipe calls for five cups of flour. Next, I add six tablespoons of sugar. For the salt, I often use Tony Satri's Creole seasoning as a substitute. I prefer this to salt because it tastes so dang good and gives the dough a little spicy kick. However, for the video, I used one tablespoon of iodized salt. I have tried many types and brands of yeast through the years and have found a favorite. This Red Star yeast from Costco has never let me down. I use two tablespoons of yeast in this recipe. Put the yeast directly into the dry ingredients. I know that others say that you have to wake the yeast up in some warm sugary water, and I have done that, but I have not experienced any advantage from doing so. Next, I add two cups of warm water to the dry ingredients. The final ingredient that I add is the melted butter we melted in the first step. I use a Bosch mixer that has a lid, so I put the lid on, and using the dough hook, I mix and knead the dough. This may take a minute or two. The more you knead it, the smoother it becomes. When the dough looks like this, you can stop the mixer. Flour the counter and form the dough into a round. I don't know why, but I always feel like I need to slap the dough ball when I'm done. Using a knife or scraper, part the dough into desired sizes. Form the new parts into rounds and cover and let them rise. This may take a half an hour or so. Once the dough has risen, flour the counter again and place the dough round in the middle. Flatten the dough with your fingers and finish up with the roller. Your dough is now ready to be dressed. This recipe makes enough dough for two large 16-inch pizzas.